so very, very deeply, deeply sorry that this has happened in this community once again. 11 minutes for a hate-filled rampage. 11 minutes to end three lives. 11 minutes to turn a shopping trip into a nightmare. 11 minutes of senseless violence. And one evil man who decided to take his hateful rhetoric and his hateful thoughts and put those into action, are, they cannot shake our resolve. Tonight, what we've learned happened at that Jacksonville Dollar General, minute by minute, the police response. And I promise you that I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure Jacksonville is the place that it has been and that it will continue to be. The mayor's response. It's too much, it's too often. We keep going down the same paths over and over again. And what our community does next. This is gonna take all of us. It's gonna take every single one of us. First Coast News starts now. Good evening to you and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Heather Crawford. Right now we are tracking tropical storm Idalia and the impact that it could have here on the first coast this week. But first tonight we begin with the very latest on the investigation and the community response to yesterday's racist attack on three black people in northwest Jacksonville. So here are three things to know at this hour. In just the past two hours, we learned that the gunman was a former student at Flagler College in St. Augustine. Police say the 21 year old shooter lived in Clay County with his parents. Dollar General also confirmed tonight that one of the victims, AJ Legary Jr., was an employee at the store. In a statement, Dollar General says it's mourning the loss of Legary and two customers, Gerald Galleon and Angela Carr. And throughout the day and into this evening, several groups held vigils urging for the community to come together and put an end to hatred and violence. Our live team coverage continues tonight with the latest on those prayer vigils and what we're learning about the victims as well as the gunmen. First, hundreds of people gathering for a prayer vigil with faith leaders, city officials, and surprise guest Governor Ron DeSantis. Cheyenne Cole is on your side live in Northwest Jacksonville. And Cheyenne, while the community is focusing on unity, there were some very strong emotions at that vigil today. Tonight was a time of healing, love, and support among community members. People were crying and hugging strangers as they mourned the loss of the three people killed this weekend. This rock is Jesus. The Jacksonville community unifying for a prayer vigil with several local faith leaders one day after three black people died in a racist mass shooting at a Dollar General on Kings Road before the gunman took his own life. Mayor Donna Deegan saying hate that divides the community must stop. We've got to start seeing each other's humanity, hearing each other, listening to each other, talking to each other, and recognizing that no matter what, we are us, and we are all the same flesh, blood, and bones, and we should treat each other that way. Hold on. Governor Ron DeSantis struggling to be heard over the crowd booing him until City Councilwoman Jacoby Pittman quieted everyone down. DeSantis says state law enforcement is prepared to support historically black colleges and universities with security needs in the coming days. Police say the gunman first went to Edward Waters University before driving away. We are not going to take it standing down. We are going to fight back against you. And if you try to show up at an HBCU to target people based on their race, you are not going to be successful. Sheriff T.K. Waters says the tragedy is not a reflection of Jacksonville or its people. This is not really what our city is, right? There are problems. There are people that cause problems. There are racist people. There are people that just hate people for whatever reason. Um, but that is not representative of the whole. Councilwoman Pittman says the support for this community won't end today. There's going to be another gathering next Saturday at 3 o'clock in the neighborhood. Reporting live in Jacksonville, Cheyenne Cole, First Coast News, on your side. Cheyenne, thank you. We also spoke with loved ones of one of the victims tonight. 29-year-old Gerald Galleon leaves behind a four-year-old daughter. His family tells us he was inside the Dollar General with his girlfriend, who he told to run away as that shooter opened fire. She got away. Galleon was killed. 
On your side, Destiny McKeever is live tonight from Kings Road and Destiny, that family is heartbroken. Heather, just as anyone would be receiving this news, I spoke with the daughter's grandmother today, and she says the most heartbreaking part about all of this is that she has not yet set her granddaughter down to tell her what happened to her dad. She says she knows it would just shatter her world. When his mom called me, I'm thinking just shot. And when we found out, when I got the chance that it was this, my heart melted for my granddaughter. Sabrina Rozier says she got the news that her granddaughter's father had been shot to death and she fell apart. Because she was his world and he was her world. And now we're trying to figure out how to tell her because we haven't told her yet. She's only four. 29-year-old Gerald Gallen was one of three people shot by this man, Ryan Palmetter, Saturday at a Dollar General on Kings Road. The sheriff says Palmetter wrote a 20-plus page manifesto saying he wanted to kill black people, which police say was the motive for the shooting. It was senseless. Like, you came from another county to take innocent lives and for what? I felt like you was a coward because then you took your own life. The mother of Gallon's daughter says she's numb. How are you feeling right now, though? Yeah. A family preparing to tell Gallon's baby girl that her dad is never coming home. All my grandbaby keeps saying is, where's my daddy? And all I can do is grab her because I don't have the words right now. We did also speak with the sheriff briefly tonight, and he says they will continue to release more information as it becomes available in the coming days. Reporting live tonight from Newtown, I'm Destiny McKeever, First Coast News on your side. Destiny, thank you. And this morning, a prayer service held at St. Paul's AME Church just down the road from that Dollar General. State lawmakers representing Jacksonville, Duval County School Board member Daryl Willie and Mayor Donna Deegan speaking to members of the congregation, calling on them to talk to their children, to get involved and to stand up to hatred. These are the types of fires that continue to light inside of us. And I know I'm going to continue to steadfast and all these people will hear as well, because at the end of the day, we have a whole community that we need to wrap our arms around. We have got to make our voices heard. We must unify. We must also organize. The church also prayed for the victims and called on voters to change the state's laws on access to firearms. And as we mentioned, the shooter was a former student at Flagler College in St. Augustine. He withdrew in 2021. The president of Flagler College releasing a statement tonight saying in part, we will continue to foster a culture that actively rejects racism, discrimination and violence. We will continue to invest in education and dialogue that promote understanding and empathy. And coming up in just a few minutes, what neighbors shared with us today about the shooter. And to read more right now on what we're learning about the three victims and how they're being remembered, just look for this story on firstcoastnews.com and the First Coast News app.